Wabash Forests of Wisconsin. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, there's a lot of fields and whatnot as well. More or less flat land. Anyway, figured that I was actually going to try to start up my vlog again. I've had this camera for ages and uh, really never started my vlog. And I always kind of intended to do that. And I know that I've been neglecting my YouTube channel for quite a long time. And uh, I was actually planning on doing some Let's Plays and other stuff on there. So trust me, I'm going to get back to that over the course of this summer. Catch up on Quest for Glory and all that other random stuff. Anyway, um, my name is Ash, for those who are unaware of my screen name. And uh, I'm actually traveling to Wisconsin right now because I'm trying to do some fundraising. Um, I am a Catholic missionary. And I know how you're probably reacting to that. You're like, oh, great, one Catholic and two missionary. Those two things should not collide. And, uh, but yes, we do exist. And I actually work at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So pretty much take care of students and chat with them and teach them more about their faith. And uh, in addition to that, teach them about virtue and how to grow in virtue and in prayer and things like that. So that's my job. And I mean, I can imagine the, the dislikes abounding right now. Um, but that's okay. This channel isn't just for isn't just for the other people who are watching. It's mainly for me. Um, I wanted to dedicate this channel to things that are more spiritual. There's a lot of things that are online that are very amusing, and by amusing, I mean it in the ancient Greek sense of the word, where a means without and then muse. There is no muse. Nothing that's inspiring. There's nothing that's divine or moving or encouraging or something that moves you internally when you hear it. Um, I don't want to be amusing. I want to be entertaining. I want to grasp people's attention, but um, I don't. I don't want to pander to the lowest common denominator of what is going to get me views. So, anyhow, figured I'd dedicate this channel to talking about spiritual things. And uh, by spiritual, I said I don't want to just mean it in the Christian sense of the word, even though I am Catholic. Um, I just mean those things that where you feel like you're connected with something that is greater than yourself. Um, that's what I want to talk about on this channel and probably cover a whole map of different topics, but specifically, um, if there are Christian days, days that I want to talk about Christianity or something that some Christian tenets or dogma, then I'll be sure to warn you in advance so you can just move along to the next channel or the next video, um, instead of wasting your time with that because I know that people are just going to dislike it for the fact of it being Christian. Frankly, I <laughs> do a good gosh darn. I'll, uh... I'll say it anyway, because that's just how I am. Anyway, hope you find um, find these videos enlightening, encouraging, inspiring. I mean, any number of those things, but there's a lot of spiritual things in my life and I want to share them with others, so you're welcome to join me on that journey. Here we are at the beautiful UW-Madison, overlooking the lake and feeding a bunch of ducks because my friend Allie <laughs> and I are uh, exceedingly juvenile. <laughs> and we're okay with that, actually. So, what do we do? Feed popcorn to ducks. And uh, you always hear those legends about how you feed, um, you feed like doves or not doves, pigeons or whatever else, like a whole bunch of food and then it'll explode or something. <laughs> I like to imagine that's exactly what's going to happen here. Legends. Yeah, I was like, people. yeah, I, I, I do hear different legends than most people. That's totally fair. But yes, enjoy it, internet community. I think I just scared the crap out of him by kicking a piece of popcorn. <laughs> yeah, you're next. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. You're getting most of my popcorn anyway. That's got to show my love and admiration. It's so funny. Now they're too late yeah. to go back into the water. Here you go, males. <laughs> you gentlemen need some popcorn too. <laughs> Gosh, little scavengers. Well, here we are. This is the usual joys of Madison. This is uh, what we do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, this is a rarity. So welcome to my life. And enjoy all the students, or not students, who are ditching everything they're doing for the summer to come hang out here at Stupid Colored Patio Furniture. Yeah, that's Madison. Good day. <laughs> Sorry, get over. Oh, popcorn in the head. Well, over and out. So here we are, the streets of Madison, more specifically State Street, which is pretty much the quasi-hippie capital of the world, right next to San Francisco's wondrous bounty on that. Um, 
not to put that in a negative light, actually, I, uh, I'm actually amazed by how many, uh, how many people we have who are homeless and stuff out here, and some of the most amazing people you'll ever meet still blows my mind to get a chance to talk to some of them, and just always wish you had a little bit more money or something else to eat, etc. But it's interesting you have a mix of the college students who have quite a bit of money, who have a lot of support from family and so on and so forth. Don't get me wrong on that one either because several of them are going through quite a bit of financial struggle, especially in this day and age, but yeah, it's an interesting place to be. Got a lot of crazy drunks out here, which is my crew, and uh, just a lot of people who are hurting, so to have the haves and the have-nots so close. Um, just kind of a stunning, stunning display of, of how our culture is right now. Actually kind of heartbreaking. But anyway, here we are, walking down State Street, actually heading back to my place. So I live with a couple of the priests along with like, I don't even know, maybe eight other people. And um, just got done hanging out with some homeless guys over by the, by the church and just wish that they could get some sleep tonight. A lot of the cops like to come by and kick people off the public property, if you will. And, uh, yeah, anyway, a day in my life, traveling and coming back home to Madison. Anyway, sorry for the close-up of my face. And, uh, also for the lack of stability me holding the camera while walking. My bad. I'll work on that. Here we have Bascom Hill. Beautiful place to be. Gorgeous site of downtown Madison. And uh, sitting up here with my good friend Vince. Say what's up, Vince. What's up? The man's about ready to kill some zombies or something. And uh, it is the thing to do. It is the thing to do around here. We have the humans versus zombies epidemic that has swept the campus. And uh, though it's summer, um, there are still a few people who actually wanted to play. Not enough to really get an amazing game going, but God willing, this next year, I'll get in there myself and shoot some folk. Probably need somebody to hold my camera, though, so I'll be on the lookout for that. So anyway, stay tuned on that. It's going to be a hell of a next year. Enjoy yourselves. Well, this is a great start. It looks as if though we have some Ghostbusters-esque Vulcan that's ready to destroy a whole mess of people, so... Um, Got the weapon set aside. This could potentially be pretty badass. Okay, a huge box of ammo too. That's gonna make things better. Let the games begin. Looks like the first one's gonna be Survivor. See how that works out. Oh yes. Vince is ready. Get the zombies ready. <laughs> All fails. Have something to spray with. Of course. Zombies prepared all around. So it's Vince's turn. Smart move, Vince. Five, Keep that four, gun. The automatic. Two, one, go. Ooh, Champ. <laughs> You're gonna reload while it's the round still playing? That's clever. Oh, good man. Oh, like a champ! <laughs> that was incredible. Who's that? Top? We're at the top of the oh. Just keep backing up. <laughs> backing up. I'm just kind of confused. I have packed. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> 